Hello everybody and welcome back to Chef Sherry's Plant-Based Kitchen. It is the last day of 2023 and I want to start out our little cooking demo by wishing you all the best in 2024. There's been a lot of things going on this year, a lot of hard things, so let's pray all of us that we have a, a year coming up that is more peaceful and that we can just be kind and love each other in a good way. So I want to share with you what we're having for dinner tonight. So Dale and I celebrated New Year's with our friends on a couple days ago because we don't like to go out on New Year's Eve anymore. Too many drunk drivers on the road. I prefer to stay home. So I haven't made pizza from scratch in a long time. So I'm going to show this uh, in a couple segments. So I'm going to show you how to make part of this right now. Um, what I'm going to be making is a sausage, pepper, and mushroom pizza, which was created by Chef Del Shroof and it's in the China Study Family Cookbook. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's a great cookbook if you have children and you want things for eating. Uh, not too close, can you back up a little bit so we can see the whole thing? Thank you. That's good, okay. And this is what it's gonna look like when we're done. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make the sausage, and I put that in quotes, recipe, which goes on the pizza, and then I'll come back in another video and I'll put together a pizza with my homemade whole wheat pizza dough and all the toppings that go with it. So the first thing you wanna do when you're making this faux, what I call sausage, is to make millet. Now millet looks like this when it's cooked with water. It, it gets sort of, um, I'm gonna say I cooked it longer than he says to because you want it to be, if I can show this deal, sort of gooey. See, it sort of sticks together. You want it to be real sticky. So this is just one cup of millet and two cups of water and I cooked it after it boiled on a low temperature. I would say about 20 minutes and I kept adding water when it would sort of get dry because I want it to be sort of mushy because that makes it work better in the sausage. Then I took an onion and I sauteed it until it was brown. You can see it's done, so you don't have to watch me do that. Now I'm just gonna show you how we add the rest of the ingredients and how we put this together. So let me put this back on. Okay, let me get to the direction. So I'm gonna make sure I get this right. All right, we've done this, we've cooked our millet, we've cooked our onion. Now we're gonna add garlic, sun-dried tomatoes. I use some Bragg's liquid aminos, you can use tamari sage, fennel, and red pepper flakes. And we're gonna put that all together and we're going to saute this for another minute. So watch this as it all comes together. I've got it on a very low heat. I don't wanna burn it. So let's just let that cook for a minute. This is really one of my favorite things to make because you make them into patties and bake them. And then what you don't need for your recipe, all you have to do is put them in a, a Ziploc bag or, or a nice container you can stick in your freezer and pull out the patties as needed. I also use this in spaghetti sauce. Instead of a meat sauce, I make these patties and I crumble it and put it into marinara sauce and it's delicious with pasta. Right, Dale? You've had that before. You yep. remember it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to give it a minute. Okay. And then the last step here is we're going to add in our cooked millet and some nutritional yeast. And it says sea salt to taste. But I have to tell you, I don't think I add sea salt. I think it has enough taste going on. So we'll see. Okay. So let me get the, the millet. I'm going to add it into the pan here. And I'm going to combine all this. And it makes quite a bit of the millet sausage, which is great because you'll have lots that you can freeze and, and just pull out as needed. Now I'm going to get my fourth cup of nutritional yeast and add that in. And now we combine it. And I'm going to turn this off because it doesn't need to cook anymore. But I want to get this all combined so then we can make our patties. You know, it takes a little bit of work and prep, but once you've got it done, it's done and you've got it ready to go. So let me get this all mixed up really nicely. And I wish you could smell how good this is. I love this recipe because the spices in it, the fennel and this, and what else do we have in there, dear? Let's see, we had, now I'm forgetting what I put in there. Fennel and sage. Oh my gosh, those two things together, yummy. Okay, it's almost combined. And then he says to take like um, an ice cream scooper, which will do that. And I'll show you how I'm just gonna put it on this baking sheet here. 
and you're going to just flatten them out and make patties. And then all you have to do is put them in the oven, and let's see how long you cook them for, you bake them for, let's see. Do, do, do. For 15 minutes, and I think we, we started the oven at 350, we're going to bake them for 15 minutes, and then we're going to, do we have to flip them? Let's see. 15 minutes, and yeah, and then so they're lightly brown, and then I flip them over, or you can just let them go another 10 minutes. I don't think you have to flip them. Yeah, just wait another 10 minutes. That's it, okay. All right, so let me get this totally combined. These are going to be hot. That's the only thing I'm worried about doing it right now. Sometimes I cool it down. Let me grab my ice cream scoop and I'll get a little bowl where I can put some water in. So we can, we, you know, if you wet this, then it won't stick to it so much. So let's try it. So see about that size. And there goes one. And then you just flatten it out to make a patty. So they want to get stuck, so you've got to work on them. Yeah, good angle there, Dale. That's much better. Let me just get this wet. You can see how many patties we're going to get here. So I won't keep you while I'm doing this because I'm going to come back later and I'm going to have the finished patties ready for you to see. And then we're going to crumble them and put them on top of our pizza. But I will, of course, post this recipe from the China Study Family Cookbook that Del Shroof came up with so that you can make them at home and enjoy them too. So I'll see you later today when it's dinner time and we're ready to assemble our pizzas. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you next time back in my kitchen. So long for now.